We were in the countryside. There were tons of fireflies. I was with my dad, and he was explaining to me the twinkling of the stars, that it was like little suns exploding, and that they had a life and a death. So my interest in space, which was not so great at the time, really started with the stars. The infinite is not a journey about space. It's almost a cosmic journey. This experience, in a way, takes the subject of space exploration, but integrates it uh, to a viewer's experience through culture, through art, through lyricism. And, and I think that that is inherently new, and, and it triggers something very profound. It's like a series of immersive experiences that allows you to share, emotionally, what an astronaut might feel during their journey. The design has been somewhat inspired by our love and our passions, from science fiction stories to movies and interstellar adventures. On our team, we have people with a background in architecture, we have theater artists, we have writers, we have film directors. We have a whole team specialized in the development of video game interactivity. So we have chosen a team of people with a wide range of experience, because what we're seeking is to create an experience that is as innovative as possible. What makes this project exceptional is, in a way, the scale of the project. Currently, we have a surface area of almost 12,000 square feet. We're reaching heights of 18 feet. It's an unusual project, colossal, for a colossal and infinite subject. So when you enter the infinite, uh, the first thing that you will see is very beautiful scenography, something that gets you inside of an environment that is fascinating, that is welcoming, but that also gradually prepares you to go to space. But we have no artifacts. So, so that monumentality of, of a rocket or, or, or a space shuttle um, is non-existent. So we really wanted to dig into the poetry in relationship to the presentation of the content of Felix and Paul. And, and really, Felix and Paul, what they've achieved is, is giving us a sense of presence through the use of the, the uh, virtual reality uh, technology and, and the immersive quality of the work. What we've managed to accomplish is blurring the boundaries between the physical world and the virtual world. To be able to accommodate up to 150 visitors simultaneously in a virtual reality experience, this is something that hasn't been done before. It's brilliant because it's a collective experience where we see each other, we can wander around with others, but all of a sudden, we've transcended reality. And what is beautiful is that the spectator becomes a bit of an actor. They have to make choices and take initiative. They become part of the content. For me, this is how the infinite stands out from other immersive experiences. Well, we really wanted to look at the territories of, of some of the contemporary artists and architects that really think about the dynamics of the relationship between the human and, and space. The immersion doesn't just happen through image and sound, it unfolds across our senses. The smell subtly enhances our sensations, perhaps unnoticed by some visitors, but unconsciously they will have the sensation of being in a completely different universe. Ryoji Ikeda is our guest artist. He has an exclusive work within the experience. It's going to be a masterful piece where directly above us will be a ceiling made of LED screens measuring 7 meters by 7 meters. So of very, very large dimensions. And we're really going to have a sense of vertigo. Kind of like how you might imagine the first time the doors of the ISS open. And you have to dive in as if you were an astronaut. Ryoji Ikeda, he really thinks about 
um, sound and, and data that, that go beyond human perception. So there's an inherent quality of his work that really examines the vastness of the universe and our relationship uh, on a macro and micro level. The scenography does not necessarily tell the story, but rather evokes it. The light was the most important element in the scenographic design, because light allows you to convey emotions with contrast, effects of saturation, of movement, and vibration. We also housed it in the hearts of the avatars, so it's both something physical and practical, because it allows visitors to see each other, to keep their distance. But at the same time, it references the beauty and curiosity of human beings. It's as if, after experiencing this adventure, we don't have the same outlook on things. And that's the reason why, for example, the last segment of the experience, which we call the origin, simultaneously signifies the origin of the world, of our world, the origin of our desire to explore space, but at the same time, perhaps, it means the origin of the world that will come, so the origin of the future world. A project like The Infinite is meant to be exportable. We want to be able to take it from one city to another. We see that venues are seeking experiences that redefine the term immersive. That's really what we're looking to do. Experiences that are participatory for the visitor and that take us into a whole different reality. We want people to leave this experience filled with the emotional journey. But also, we want the spectators to leave thinking about our way of life on Earth and our possible future in space.